The Budweiser's back. Hi, I want to talk to you specifically about Mikos today. All of our feeding schedules are set up in gallons. Um, however, if you only have one plant, you're not going to need a gallon when you're doing this. Now, this is an important part of the program. It's a, it enhances the soil, allows for nutrient uptake, and, and, and we want to keep this as simple as possible so you, if you only have one plant, may not need to do a, a gallon with one plant. All you're going to do is a pint. Two cups. So this is set up in gallons and it calls, um, fortunately it comes with both a tablespoon and a teaspoon. So you're going to use tablespoons if you're using a gallon. There's four tablespoons, but if you only need a pint with one plant, that would be a pint. That's 16 ounces, which you're going to pour around the stem. Um, during these specific times, you would do two and a half of the teaspoons because there's five teaspoons in a tablespoon. Two and a half, which would make a pint, so you don't have to waste any. Now, this is a great time to cut back on your watering. If you're in a place where your uh, medium now is really wet, then you might need to wait a day. You have to judge that. You don't want your medium to be too dry or too wet, but this is a great time. If you don't want to be using a gallon for your plant today, just do this and you can catch up. You need to continually monitor that. Something in the Southwest is going to be different than someone well, with their grow period in uh, say Florida or during the rainy season. So keep that in mind.